Venus is baking hot. At an average 475 degrees Celsius, it's hot enough to melt lead. Earth by contrast is not so hot, a mild 15 degrees, but of course that's just an average. If we climb to the top of Mount Everest, the temperatures drop to around minus 19 on average, and further up in the atmosphere at 30,000 feet minus 45 degrees, 60,000 feet minus 55 degrees Celsius, and at 300,000 feet or 90 kilometers, it drops to around minus 100. Hi everyone, Vega here, and in today's video we return to our solar system series after quite a few weeks, and to our sister planet Venus, with a radical, even crazy new idea that one day might make living in hell a bit more palatable. So, let's get to it. Let's not beat around the bush. Venus is an awful planet for the most part, but we know that the atmospheric pressure and temperature at around 50 kilometers to 65 kilometers above the surface is nearly the same as that of Earth. So far we've envisaged floating communities, but perhaps we could get onto more firm ground. The highest peak on Venus, Maxwell Montes, is 11 kilometers high, and temperatures drop there from 475 degrees Celsius to around 100 degrees less. Still way too hot for human habitation, but quite a large difference I'm sure you'll appreciate. So when we think about it, all we have to do is keep building on up until we reach that 50 kilometer sweet spot. What I'm saying is that by building a 40 km high mountain on top of Maxwell Montes, we could have terra firma and live quite happily on Venus, as long as we found a way of accessing water, having a ready supply of oxygen and nitrogen, and of course, perhaps the most difficult aspect, dealt with a sulfuric acid rain. However, building a 40 km high mountain on Venus is a daunting task that would require advanced technology and a significant investment of resources. Potential benefits, however, of such a project do make it worthwhile considering. Indeed, Venus has several potential benefits that can make it an attractive location for our settlement. The planet has a relatively stable axial tilt and rotation, which does mean that it's relatively unvarying climate compared to other planets in the solar system. Venus also has abundant resources, which includes a vast amount of carbon, which can be used to create building materials and fuel for spacecraft. So to establish this settlement on Venus, the mountain would need to be around 50 kilometers high as we've mentioned, above the thick Venusian atmosphere. So how might we make this happen? A first step would be to send robotic spacecraft to Venus to survey the planet and determine the best location for the mountain, which may be Maxwell Montes, but it may well not be once the survey is complete. Once this suitable location has been identified, the next step would be to send autonomous robots to begin excavating the site and building this mountain. The process would obviously be challenging due to the harsh environment, and robots would need to be able to withstand high temperatures, high pressures and corrosive chemicals. Even with seemingly limitless solar power, the robots would also have to be able to excavate the rocky surface of Venus and create a stable foundation for the mountain, which may be more difficult than on first glance. Once this process is complete, the next step would be to begin building the mountain itself. Advanced construction techniques such as 3D printing can create large blocks of building materials, and these blocks would then have to be transported to the construction site and assembled to form the mountain. But hell, if the Egyptians could do it, with no machinery, why couldn't we do this? One of the biggest challenges of a building a mountain on Venus would be to protect those robots and construction teams from the harsh environment. Perhaps an intriguing way to do this could be in creating a sealed environment that would protect the inhabitants from the high temperatures and pressures on Venus. How this could be done, of course, is anybody's guess at this point. Let me know in the comments if you have any great ideas. In addition, we must also bear in mind that our new mountain would also need to be designed to withstand seismic activity and meteor impacts. So once the mountain is complete, our final step would then be to establish a human settlement on it. This would likely involve sending a crew of astronauts to the mountain to begin building the infrastructure necessary for human habitation, including building living quarters, research facilities and communication systems. Building a huge 50 km high mountain on Venus is a daunting task that requires advanced technology and investment and resources, but the potential benefits make a project like this worthwhile considering. Terra firma is not something we've considered in depth, and it does obviously have its advantage over floating colonies. We could also extend outwards as far as required. A crazy, deranged and possibly insane idea to build a mountain high enough on Venus is one of a range of possibilities making our sister world more habitable. At only 61 million kilometers at closest approach, Venus is much easier to reach than Mars. It offers a habitable area of around 50 kilometers in its skies that is the most hospitable place in our solar system outside of our beautiful blue planet. 
the only question that remains is how and when we make use of it. Thanks for watching and consider subscribing if you haven't already. If you would like to support the channel further you could consider buying me a coffee and I'll link this in the description. Thanks to those of you who have already done so. If you have any other videos or ideas that you'd like to see brought to life, don't forget to let me know in the comments below and perhaps next week your idea could show up. Take really good care of yourselves, look after your friends and family well and I'll see you on the next one.